Hi everybody, I'm Pastor G. Listen, I'm so grateful that you are joining us today for 7 on the 7. Thank you for jumping online and stopping as you are scrolling through. I know so many things are trying to grab your attention, so we're so excited that you're here to join in with us. And today's, today's devotion, I was just listening to the Lord as I was in my own prayer time. And I was just talking about, um, the Lord was just talking to me about just people being in fear about stuff. And then he was asking me just... Are we sure that people in the world know how to appropriate healing and the healing of God in their lives for their situation? Because a lot of us are going out and we're being afraid about things. But if we understood how much God is a healer and where he has provided that for us in our lives, that it would now cause us to have a different perspective when we go out into the world. And so the Lord took me and, and he took me to scripture as we understand in John three sixteen, the scripture just says this so plainly for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And us as Christians, we understand that word as uh, the, the equivalent of that scripture as um, salvation. And the word salvation in the Greek, it just means, uh, well, it means more than just salvation. We think it as the context of getting out of, uh, out of hell so we don't have to go to hell. But God has meant it to be way more than that. Um, in the Greek, it means to save, to rescue. It means provision. It means healing. It means health. And so God painted the picture like this for me because I am an eater and I love to eat. And so he said it in the context of dinner. When you have dinner, we like to call it, in the English term, we call it dinner. But in dinner, listen, you got greens, you got potatoes, you got mac and cheese, you got fried chicken. And I lo listen, I love dinner. And so dinner in the same context, God painted it like this. this. Dinner is salvation. But in salvation, there are many different items that if we don't learn how to appropriate them and take them and apply them, that you will miss provision. If you don't understand how to get provision from God, you'll miss it. If you don't understand how to get healing from God, you'll miss it. Yes, all of it's been paid for. But the problem is, is us as Christians, oftentimes we separate healing from salvation when salvation is the meal the dinner but man healing is encompassed inside of that and so what god was showing me was first off was listen number one he provided for it at the cross so it was already paid for he already did it for you so when you go out um listen healing has already been provided for your family uh for your life and so learning this isaiah 54 3 says this surely he took our infirmities he carried our sorrows and yet we considered him stricken by god struck down and afflicted Verse 5 says this, Isaiah 53, 5 says, But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. I love that. The punishment that brought us peace. Meaning when you go out, you can have peace. When you come in, you can have peace. Because Jesus already paid for it. He's already the receipt. All you have to do is learn how to apply it. And it says this, And by his stripes we are healed. And First Peter 2.24 it says this, he who all his own self bore our sins on a, on his body, on a tree for us. He was crucified on a tree that we being dead to sin shall live unto righteousness. And now by his stripes, you were healed. So here's the thing. Point number one is that it was provided on the cross. Point number two is salvation is just like dinner. It's the overarching term, but inside of it, listen, if you don't eat the chicken, for instance, if I needed protein that the chicken provided and I didn't, I never ate chicken and I always ate the mac and cheese, you're always going to get high in starches, but you're never going to get the protein that you needed. If you understand that God has already provided for you and your family healing, all you have to do is learn how to appropriate that and apply it to your family and apply it by prayer. So the last thing that God wanted me to show you is point number three. Listen, says you've got to eat the chicken. You've got to take it and eat it. And in Romans chapter 10 and verse nine and 10, it says this. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says you will be saved. And for unto the heart one believes, and unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. With the mouth it is made. So the first thing you have to do is you have to be able to believe that he did it. 
You have to see it in the word that it applies to your life and believe that he did it. And then when you begin to speak it out and say, Lord, I thank you that as my family goes out today, that we are okay. We are healed. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. We apply it by your mouth. The same way that you applied it when you got saved, it also paid for your healing. So as you begin to speak that out when you got saved, the same way that you spoke that out for salvation is the same way that you speak it out for healing. God was just laying on my heart going, my children don't know how to appropriate healing in their lives. And so when they go out, they're so afraid that now afraid is constricting them, that they don't want to talk to people. They don't want to be around people. God has presented us with a interesting opportunity as the children. If we begin to look up and begin to see who's around us, we can now go and give people Jesus and not be afraid because, man, God lives inside of me. God's already healed. He's already saved my family. And so now as I go out and now as I speak life into people, man, there's an interesting opportunity. I was, I was just hanging out with my family and someone that I know who was close to me sent me a text and said, man, how are you doing? And in that text, that text meant so much to me because in this time period where we live in, everyone is so me focused. I'm hurting. My family's not okay. Everything's going. But when you get one person that looks outside of themselves and begins to look at the harvest, at the opportunity that God has presented, man, you see people who have needs all over the world right now. And if we would just begin to look at the need, I promise you, God will show up on your scene and in your situation so that you help people. And as you help people, I mean, God's going to be able to flood this world with how, how good he is, the goodness of God. And so what God's wanting us to know, number one, is that he already paid for it. And in your belief, when you begin to pray and confess with your mouth, that's why the Bible says you put on the whole armor of God. How do you put on the whole armor of God? You pray and speak it out. And so what we wanted to let you know is as a church, number one, we're praying for you. We're praying that as you go, that you would begin to understand the healing that God has provided in the meal of salvation. Salvation being its overarching term. But inside that, there's healing, there's provision, there's safety, there's instruction. All of that is what God has provided for you in salvation. And so know this, we're praying for you. We love you here. I mean, listen, if God's prompted in your heart, we would love you to give and just give to what God's doing in this city and this world right now during this time. We're so grateful that you're here with us every single night at seven o'clock. And we pray that you would just in this hit follow. You can hit follow on this button that's on Facebook and it'll begin to show every one of these will pop up and you'll get a notification. Um, but we would love for you to hit follow and just be with us every single night. Listen, we love you. We're praying for you. We're going to end in prayer today. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Lord, for everyone, as they hear the word of God, I pray that it ignites something in them. Holy Spirit, awaken the fact that they are healed, that you've already provided for them. And now, God, we pray over every family that these parents and these households, Lord, that they would begin to just pray and believe through the grace of God that you've provided for every single one of them, for them and also for their family. God, we thank you for what you're doing. We give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you. We'll see you soon. Hey guys, Pastor Tim here from City Church of the Treasure Coast. Thank you for joining us tonight for 7 on the 7. We're here every night for you to bring encouragement to a world right now that needs the love of God. I want to ask you to do something for me as hopefully you've been touched by tonight's broadcast. Will you please go to citychurchtreasurecoast.com, citychurchtreasurecoast.com and click on the donate now button and give the best gift that you can so that we can continue to feed our community, to bring hope to the world and to share the gospel with all creation. If you'll give a gift today of $25 or $50 or more, it'll help us to touch a life for all eternity. I want to thank you in advance for going to citychurchtreasurecoast.com and giving that special gift tonight. God bless you. We love you, but God loves you more.